Letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her death, but you never gave this to him? I'd be pissed off if I like left something to my husband and someone just didn't give it to him. I'd be like, you know, I'm gonna haunt you. I'm gonna <laughs> become a ghost and haunt you. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Hi you guys and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with some more Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. We gotta find Admiral Bobbery. I don't honestly remember. <laughs> how you find him, but we're gonna find him. Don't you worry, you little sea dog. So, we gotta do some investigate. If I'm correct, I believe that's where he lives, but I can't just go up into him and, you know, say hi. <laughs> uh, also, how many, ooh, I got a lot of shine sprites. I can uh, upgrade a partner real quick while I'm on this side of town. Yellow. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Steve Vivian. <laughs> no love for Madame Fleury. Shall I power up this partner? Yeah. Shazubi. Shazubi. Hey. Got that magic touch. <laughs> <laughs> then you may go. <laughs> Bye. Noise, noise. You gonna switch back? I'm actually gonna switch to uh, him so I can walk a little faster. Uh, I might have some luck talking to this guy. Okay, not you. Not you. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> Admiral Bobbery. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. But I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. Oh, okay. That's all you got? Bruh, I don't got time for this. Let him be my butt. <laughs> so I was right. Knock, knock. Hmm. Can we sneak in? <laughs> Where does this take us? Uh, can't go that way. I think I remember now how I'm supposed to get to him. How I'm supposed to figure this out on my own, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> thank God I've played this before. Um, I don't think it's this way, but curious. Up, bro. The other day I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been a bandit. <laughs> Maybe that's why he was sneaking in the chimney. <laughs> Either that or old Saint Nick, am I right? Gotta ah! dang it. Do I at least oh, and I gotta go back over? Bruh. Bruh. Killing me. Gotta be dashing. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a bandit. It's breaking into people's houses. Jesus. It's the sensitivity of these GameCube controls that like kills me. Already. Third time's the charm, am I right? Okay. Okay, thank the Lord. Switch on back to Bella, Ella, Ella. After I get some uh, goody goods. Cause wasting time is worth it, isn't it? Isn't it? <sighs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right, we got this, we got this. Bruh, fourth time, fourth time some shine. I want that shine sprite. anything else this way this dude hello good afternoon to you sir i'm called grifty the traveling minstrel i spend my days here in leisure spinning tales that spin the senses you know but a few of these stories that surround the town of rogueport if you like i can share them with you but it will require just a few coins is there a tale you want to hear these are the tales that i can tell you now 
Fearsome demon. Ooh, crystal stars. Here who rose. Oh, it's about all the lore. That's interesting. If ever there is a tale you wish to hear, just ask. Uh, my question is, how would I even get back? Uh, can I just jump back? Yay! Okay. We did it. <laughs> back to Kimbella. Let's go in your chimney like a bandit. Could you imagine? Someone just falls down your chimney. You're just like, the heck? <laughs> what do you blokes want? That's all you gotta say? Admiral Bubbery? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please, don't play dumb with us. We were already told that you are Admiral Bomberry. <laughs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job? Hmm. So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But look. We're begging you here. You totally have to. You're the only one who can guide our ship to Keyhole Key. This is serious stuff. Awfully sorry, dear boy. <laughs> Dang. Hope he's talking to me and not Kumpa. <laughs> Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. <laughs> now, away with you. Well, all right, then. Darn, what do we do, Mario? That guy doesn't seem to stoke to come with us. <laughs> what I wonder, though, why was he all weirded out by the sea anyway? We gotta find someone who knows this guy and find out what his malfunction is. Back to the bar. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> so, uh, what's the deal? You say Bobbery won't go to that sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. Real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhole Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. <sighs> the fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. I can't take it right now. I've got too many hormones going on, but... <laughs> In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. It's Scarlet Bombshell. <laughs> The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. She wasn't a Scarlet harlot. <laughs> and Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, a virus, a passing cold. No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts that they tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. That's the saddest tale I've ever heard in my life. No wonder. You all know his tale now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yes, we have no choice. Uh, I'm sorry, but the world will be ending. <laughs> Very well. I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give this, give you this. <laughs> An old letter. Letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her death, but you never gave this to him? It's been like how long? You know this man is suffering and sad and depressed, and you're like, this might make him feel better, but you know. Eh, I'll just keep it. <laughs> 
On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Barbara a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay die. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he might hear my voice. It was her last request, and I didn't do it. I just kept it under the bar here the whole time and spilling drinks on it and whatnot. Figured he didn't need it, am I right? <laughs> But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thanks, Podley. And don't beat yourself up for this. We'll deliver the letter. Come on, Mario. Yeah. No, you should beat yourself up for that. She specifically said, if he gets depressed, give this to him because this will help. And he's like, he looked too depressed. I didn't think it helped. Like, do you know him better than his wife knows him? Apparently not. Mm. I'd be pissed off if I like left something to my husband and someone just didn't give it to him. I'd be like, you know, I'm going to haunt you. I'm going to <laughs> become a ghost and haunt you. <laughs> Jesus. What? Oh, by Blatherton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you would treat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Hmm? Pardon? A letter, you say? F for me? W what? Scarlet? That's a Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. Why is he reading this in front of us? I would be like, this is my private letter. <laughs> my love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us. I guess it's technically him reading it, but I thought I'd read it in the voice of his wife. <laughs> because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than lifetimes worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tie. You are one with the sea as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea as you are one with me. Ah, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone if you please? Oh, poor guy. What's with the battle axes at the, uh, on the wall? <laughs> I know you're a sailor. I didn't know you're a fighter. Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Oh. <laughs> now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keyhole Key. Hurrumph. If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, awesome! What's what's in here? A shine get hex, yeah. Nice, nice. I guess technically I can uh, upgrade F Madame Flurry now. But do I want to? Oh. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Let's go. After I finally upgrade Vivian. <laughs> I mean, not Vivian, but uh, what's her name? Metal <laughs> Flurry. Honestly, didn't even remember her name. Jesus. Shall I power up this partner? Yes. Shazubi. <laughs> Shazubi. Then you may go. <laughs> Bye. Um, back to the Bella, Ella, Ella. And there's one more errand I want to do before I shove off. Technically two more. But we should... Jesus. It's probably RDM. Or, you know what? It probably isn't. It's probably, uh, somebody. Patoonie! Hi, Mario! How are you? I'm, uh, good. No, very good. No, great! Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like, a place no one's ever been? Wow, that must be fun. I'm jealous. 
But if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise from Petunia. Oh, she's so cute. The little eggy weggies. Uh, so first of all, we want to visit Miss uh, Zest Tea because we got a cookbook. Hey, Mr. Context Smusher, listen to this. I got the lowdown on a book that can turn anyone into a master chef. I went to the Tribble Center in the east part of town and recruited someone to find it. If you like helping folks out, you ought to swing by there. I'll reward you. So anyway, did you need me to cook something for you? Oh, God, I got to go to the thing. No, let's see. Anything to... Elusive badge. Sesti. Nice. Why don't you go find the legendary cookbook for me? It's in a pretty scary place, so there's no way an old gal like me could get it alone. Please come to my house in Roadport Square for details. Her name. I mean, her voice. I don't know what the heck became to it. <laughs> But let's go ahead and give her this book that we got at Creepy Steeple. Mm -hmm. 